Hey guys, we're wrapping up a wonderful bit, an event uh, for entrepreneurs, about entrepreneurs, with the wonderful owner, operator, Rich Boy, in the house, Mr. Ryan Drew. What's up, man? Hey, man, just doing what I Rise do, man. Rise up, man. Rise. No, I'm, I'm hey, come on, I'm man. This is supposed to be a good, positive interview, man. <laughs> It's negative synergy in here, man. Right, you had a wonderful event with some great people and a great turnout, man. Today, what do you feel about this? I feel good, man. I feel good, and and I and I played the game, and like I said, I, it probably landed right where I thought it would. You know, we had about 115 people register, and we probably at the end of the day probably had more than 50 percent of that, which is the norm. Right. So we were within the norm, you know. And so, you know, but you you affect change. That's that's what you want to do, right? Yeah, exactly. And I think you did that. Yeah, and and the good thing is that this is something that we're gonna do that's gonna be ongoing. So it's not we're gonna do it today and then you know let people go. So those people who didn't make it today, they're gonna have opportunity to make it later. Uh, we're gonna reinforce some of the stuff that the people came today, and that's really what it was about. You know, connecting people. Uh, the platform for 2015 is collaboration beats competition. I love that. You know, yeah, and we we gotta come together, man. You know, and you know it because you in the radio industry and you have people out here think they, you know, our competitor. And, and I'm like, if we find ways to work together, we can we can just be as strong as any of these, you know, uh, traditional radio shows, TV shows, and everything else. And the same applies to business. Yeah. yeah. I, I think people don't see that because when you say business, people think competitive nature. They think uh, you're going to get what's mine. And so many times we don't come together to, to work as a collective body. But what you saw here today is a group of people with different niches who, who don't who didn't even realize that collectively they can they can be uh, advantageous to each other. And that's what I like about you bringing this together. Can you talk about that mindset of you know you might be a printed service, you might be a holistic health doctor, but there's some symmetry there. Yeah, well, it's always because. 90% of the stuff in business, we all do the same. Mm -hmm. So we may be in different industries, but the process to get to the next level is the same with all businesses. You know, so if I teach you some of the ways that I was able to move forward, you teach me some of the ways that you were able to move forward. Now I use some of your methods, you use some of mine. That's additional information mm -hmm. that we have to help all of us grow. Wow. You know, but then the thing is, is that you never know at what point that we need to do business with each other. Right. So it's always that opportunity for growth. You know, if it's not if it's just not doing business, but it's even information, that's growth. That's probably even more growth. Well, you, a lot of information was given here today. I definitely I learned a lot, and I think you know I'm pretty well versed. But there was tons of stuff that I got to institute in my own uh, uh, business and and in life in general. Um, there is a lot of things. We interviewed a lot of people today, and, they, and each one of them got a different takeaway from what, what you guys discussed today. I, w I just want to talk about why is this important for you, Ryan? Man. Because let me, let me set this up. You've been there then, right? Yeah. You are successful. This, I mean, I'm just going to call a spade a spade. You, okay. you are successful now. You have an established company, almost 20 years in the business, and you don't need to give back. If, you know, and a lot of people don't. They just, hey, I made it. You get yours. I got mine. But you, this is important to you. Why? Well, it's extremely important. And when I hear people say, and I, and I may even say that, and I got to catch myself when I say, you know, I don't, I don't need to give back because if I don't do one more piece of marketing, my business will grow every year because my clients refer people. So, but, but when I think about it, I do. You know, because to whom much is given, much is required. Mm. You know, and so it, it's, it's really my duty, though, man. And, and I always, you know, and, and people laugh and I say it, I jokingly, seriously mean it, but I'm the chosen one. <laughs> I'm the try. Right. And I say that and I'm the chosen one because right. I look at the things that I've been through. Yeah. I look at the things that I've done. I look at the people that helped me along the way and say, you know what? This is bigger than me. Somebody put me in a position to keep going because I could have easily quit. I could have easily say, well, no, I could have easily went another direction. But for somebody, you know, meaning God, to put me in a position to keep going, keep moving, I got to pass that to somebody else. You know, and, and so I, I really believe that it's my duty to give back. You know, yeah. to see others grow. But then I also understand how the business works. When you become stronger, I become stronger if we work together. You know, if that person becomes stronger. So if I put you in a better place from a business perspective, now I have a bigger client too. Right. You know, so right. if I get these people businesses to grow, to do a business return to get five hundred dollars as opposed to two hundred, I'll be still become richer. 
So it's a win situation. It's a win, win, right? You know? And and and, and, and yeah. if that's what this was about today, everybody embracing that concept. It's not, you know, basically what you can do for me, but what can I do for you? And ultimately it'll come back to me. We're wrapping it up. What's the one thing you would like for this we, now that we've had this and, and this is we're on to something else, which is you said this is gonna be a series of events like this. Yes. What do you want to see come out of this event? This right here. What would what would make you happy? What would make me happy, like I stated before, is if people utilize these services that were in the room today, you know, and connecting with the people that had businesses, not only just the speaker, but even the people that came here and, and, and trying to get their business off the ground, the ones who be started from the beginning, it would be a beautiful thing to some, you know, a group of people to support them, to help their business move along, the people who are existing to help them get to the next level, you know, the speakers who are experts in what they're doing, they all have businesses to support them. That's what would make me happy to see people connect. Not just pass some business cards out. No, and... just because we see that all day. You know, that's 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 the new. You know, we we are on a whole new thing. That's what I talked about today. That's why I talked a lot about that. Yeah. You know, that's why yeah. I talked about investing into your business. Yeah. You know, put money. You know, that's how you show me you're serious. You know, right. yeah, you can pass right. a card and talk to me all day, but when you make a commitment, a financial commitment, then I know you're serious. Hey, you got the last word. Anything you want to tell our audience? There's the camera. Hey, let me let y'all know. It's never, never too late to get in the game. And you can't win. You know, we I see it all on social media every day, all day. Uh, let's keep winning, winning. But if you're not in the game, you won't ever win. Get in the game. You know, get with your team. And I guarantee you, you'll get to the next level. Survival Radio Network. We do radio. Peace. Can't live without it. Can't live without it, man. That's a wrap. Yeah.